Today I'm going to show you how to set up a simple product for your website. All right. first of all you get into your WordPress dashboard. If we have a look here over on the left hand side we've got our menus and we come down to products and you can expand your your menus by clicking on the arrow on the right hand side of the menu. So first of all we click add product and straight away this will create a simple product. Uh, so we might as well start from the top and first of all we've got like the product title. So I'll, I'll save some text here so I'll copy it across. So at the moment we're going to add in the Fusion 2. So I'll just copy that and paste that into the product title and the product will be called the Fusion 2. Um, next of all we have our text so um, our description of the product so back to the text editor and I'll copy this text command C and paste it into the product page. When you're pasting it's best to paste into HTML so just paste the basic text. Okay, um, so with uh, here we can actually format it so it looks nice and pretty. So what we'll do with formatting is I'll just expand the for formatting options. And first of all we just add a bit of bold text. Um, just make sure this is all set up nicely. Alright. So you can format the text any way you want, but here I'll just um, add some bullet points so it's quick and easy for the, for the product to be read. Okay, so we've done our title and our description, and now the next thing is we want it to add it to a category, and we can show you this later when we go into the website. So we've got plastic welding guns, so the Fusion 2 is actually a plastic welding gun, so we'll add it to the plastic welding gun category. Alright, now we'll scroll down and if you have a look on the right hand side we've got set featured image. So we, we better add an image. We can add more than one if we like. And I'll just wait for this to upload. And we can select our, um, select our files off our desktop. So I've actually saved the image to the desktop and look there it's called Fusion 2. So we'll open that and it'll upload to your, the back end of your website and make the image available. So if I scroll down here, so what we want to do is make sure we click on None, um, the image is full size and we use as a featured image. So I'll click that and it saves and it should say Done. I mean, if you can see over here on the right behind the image it's used the featured image. So I'll just go ahead and close that and um, scroll down a bit further. As you can see we've got the product type set up as a simple product. Um, so we pretty much don't have to worry about this panel so we'll go down to the next one. So at SKU is our stock selling stock keeping unit and usually you have an SKU number and I don't have one for this so I'll just call it the um, Fusion Fusion 2, yeah. Oops, 2. So the next thing we need to do is give it a price. Because this image is, or this catalog is just an ordering catalog, we'll just give it a price of zero so you can actually order the product. And as below, you can see we've got sales price, um, the sales price dates, you can a to and from when the sales, and we've got the inquiry form, but we'll leave the inquiry form for all products. So now I'll scroll back up. As you can see, so we've took six steps, the title, the description, the categories, we added an image, and we've put in our stock keeping unit number and our price. So the next step now is just to click publish. So I'll click publish, 
and the product will be published on the website. And I'll show you how that's laid out for this website. Okay. So what I'll do, I've just created a new tab for the website and I'll come across and I'll find the, the Fusion 2. I'll just quickly search for it, FES, and the Fusion 2 should come up in the search quite quickly. So. Alright, there we go. Because we've created, I've duplicated the products, there's two of them, so I'll have to delete one later. Alright, there's a Fusion 2. Okay, here's our title. Here's our image. Um, there's our SKU, stock keeping unit, and you can add them to carts. And if you look down here, we've got our product description about the product. So that's pretty much all. And if there was a price, the price would be just under here. So we can add, I feel really keen and want to buy five today, so we can just pretty much add them to cart. And it shows the cart, and you can view the cart and check out and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it. It's quite simple. Six steps and you're done for products. So after you create that product, come back here, you can add a new product here up top. And that's it. Thank you.